Hey guys, uh, here's a little project I've been working on. I know it's been a while, but I got some new toys that I want to show y'all so I can make more projects for y'all. Uh, I'm going to probably uh, not be making no more uh, mobile welding videos because, like I said, I really don't like to record when I'm ever I'm getting paid and I don't want to be there recording and taking other people's time and their money, you know. So I bought me some, uh, I'm going to uh, make the channel go back old school. I'm going to do more projects at home and I uh, bought me some new toys so that I can do that for y'all so that way I don't have to have a gas welder on all day around my neighbors and disturbing everybody but uh here's a little dining table that i'm working on it's uh four foot wide by eight foot long the outside frame and then i cut the inside a little, uh, uh i got a piece of wood that i'm going to put on the inside i cut them little tabs and uh right here in the center right here i still got to put another you can see right there where i grinded i got to put another uh support and it's going to have a uh, little tabs on it on both sides and uh, it's gonna make whenever I put the wood under, it's gonna make it all flush. And uh, let me show you that whenever I put it on right now. Take it off the tripod real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. It's a little dusty out here because I was all cleaning it up or messing around and grinding the welding under. It's just a sheet of plywood that I used the mahogany wood stain and then I used uh, some uh, polyurethane on it. And uh, I don't really mess with wood too much, man, but I was going to give it a shot and See what it comes out. I like it so far. All right, guys. So this is one of the toys that I bought. Uh, it was the cheapest drill press that I could find on Amazon then it feels like it's pretty good man it has a turn on and off switch right here it goes down uh up to two inches i don't know if you can see that right there it'll go down up to two inches but it's for everything that i need man it's pretty good uh if i need a deep uh go bigger i might buy me a bigger one later that goes travel more down but for now this is pretty good for what i need uh it was 88 dollars and then uh with uh amazon prime as well got a i got this and i got a set of drill bits from dewalt and let me show you my other toy guys here's the other toy that I got like I said I'm trying to do more where I can do more videos for y'all man I know I haven't been able to and it's because when I'm welding out uh, mobile welding I don't want to be there recording and getting you know trying to charge them all this money and be there wasting time by recording or something that I don't want to make it look better for them but I bought this little MIG welder right here it's a Hobart handler 190 hey, man this thing I uh, got it at tractor supply brand new and then I started, I built that little cart, but I was not done yet. I need to put a little plate or something right here in the bottom. Then I still got to build the, the deal for the tank in the back because I got a 100% uh, CO2. We got a 100% CO2 tank that goes back here. I uh, bought the tank for $100, and then there was somebody to fill it up. Every time I need to fill it up, it's only 25 bucks. So 
couldn't go bad with that. And I've been welding with it, man. It's been it's been awesome. It's can't I hardly even tell the difference from the the 2575 mix. And I still got that little welder over there. I like that one, but that's more for, to me. That's gonna be more for thicker metals, but little thin metals and stuff like that is gonna be this one right here. Like I said, I don't know if you can see that, but this is and right now. I just have it hanging hanging with some uh, uh, wire, it's just so I can paint it and uh, do what I gotta do to it. And I got some. Uh, let me show you some of the welds on this. See, this is some of the stuff I did with the drill press and the welds. I don't know if, you can, if we'll focus it that good. But uh, this is uh, this is gonna be what goes between the legs and holds the leg together on that table. See, so just with the drill press, I uh, drilled these two holes and I welded all the way around. I cleaned this up nice and clean. I like it, man. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more of these kind of projects for y'all. And uh, let me know what y'all think. If you like it, I'll keep doing some more disease instead and start recording. Uh, like I said, I just, my 4K Sony camera has just been sitting in the closet just collecting dust because I haven't really used it that much. I still got the mobile welder over there. Put a lot of decals. I made a website, man, but I just haven't had time to work on it. I've posted some stuff on there, so if y'all want to check that out, y'all can. I'm, I'm trying to do some projects and stuff that I can post on there, and I got a website, uh, the website, the YouTube decals. Still got the welder, still been kicking, man. It's been going on and on and making some money, but whew, all work and no play sometimes. But all right, man. I just want to give you a little update of what I've been doing. I've been still been doing the mobile welding, but right now I'm trying to get y'all some uh, home. I want to say a home shop, but home garage welding projects that I can do here at home so that I can record a lot better and uh, like I said I, sh I should have recorded the that welding cart when I was building that and I should have recorded this table but I was just so anxious to try out that welder and uh, I had to look for my camera by the time I found it I was already halfway getting onto all this but if you want I can show you uh, a, like a little deep a little uh, basic what I did to it if y'all need, need to all right, guys. Well, man, uh, I thank you for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers. And uh, hopefully that I can do a lot more videos now that I got this. And like I said, I could have been doing it with that with that one. I could have been doing it with that welder. But, man, I got neighbors all the way around, all around me. And I don't want to be having that on for 12 hours a day nonstop. And, you know, and then people come home and work at night. Some of the, my neighbors that work at night and they want to sleep during the day. And all you hear is that welder going. So, like, man, I've... I need to give me something else. And uh, so I got me a little, this one right here. So hopefully I can do some more projects for y'all, man. And uh, thank you for being so patient. And thank you for subscribing. And 